What's happening here? The biggest YouTuber on planet. Is he, again, trying to use cryptic terms to pump crypto? What did he mean by super, ex-super? Ironically, if you go back all the way, here, how he profited from Super Farm. Invested 100k, made $9 million. Coincidence? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But however, it's finally over. Guess what? This is trending. I just woke up to this. What a day. Breaking. Mr. Beast investigated for ties to 50 plus crypto wallets linked to potential insider trading, netting over $23 million in total profits. Profits, $23 million. The one who gives away all money, who's supposed to be so poor, is actually netting $23 million from insider trading, alleged. And this has been covered for quite some time, but now the mainstream is actually taking note, which is awesome. Finally, I want more exposure on this. I want to show you where it all started. I'm not trying to take any credit. That's up to you. You'll be the judge. But glad that this is happening. Credit is later. More importantly, that it's more people are getting aware of the situation. Now, let me show you exactly, okay? In an investigation to Mr. B script, again, look at this. I'll check on these comments in a bit. Each of these individuals with very decent following, they are posting right now. And you can see them itself, they have a lot of engagement and comments within their chat threads. I have to pick one. And this being the top right now, I'll actually stick to this. All right, we'll just look at some, some of the comments here. However, I want to show you something. If you go back, I've done quite a few videos on Mr. Beast and Alex Becker and showed you some connection. It all started from Elio Trades, the YouTuber, the so-called co-founder, founder of Super Farm, with all the hidden and on people behind it. Because this is one of the crypto token where he, Mr. Beast allegedly made most of the money. I've not seen anywhere people mentioning from $100,000 to $9 million from one token. Super. That's massive. So out of $23 million profited, $9 million literally came from one particular token. And I've been covering that project since the beginning, the inception, warning people on my crypto channel. But keeping that aside, and that's Elio Trade. And matter of fact, you can see biggest NFT scam in the world, 66 million plus so much money raised. That's why the dude was able to make so much, right? How, where did the profit come from? Obviously from individual investors, retailers mainly, they're the one who put in most lost money. And I'm going to show you the leak chat that actually started this whole thing. All right, now people are digging the rabbit hole. See this? November 11, 2023. Started all the way, 21. If you go back to this itself, right? This has a lot of threads, just a few stuff that I would like to do in the beginning investigation right threads all of these are threads all right this is thread bear with me this is very important i want to just finish it off real quick entire thread shows you all the nfts and go back and check the connection with mr beast virtue virtual poker that was shilled by mr beast he also hold the tokens in the wallet basically he actually dumped it recently so uh virtue poker Alex Becker, Trey, and Virtual Poker was launched on Elio Trade's Superstarter. Multiple projects were launched on Superstarter. So again, this is going to come down probably very soon. Let's let them actually investigate a lot more, right? Let, let the real dudes actually now do the dirty work. All the shady companies and all the structures. Keeping this aside, why did I show you this? Because matter of fact, I talked about Becker as well. So I have a tiny thread on Becker. Nothing extremely extraordinary, but... Quite a few things you can see here, right? All these were shilled. And see that Virtue Poker? Donkey Virtue Poker right here? These were all on Superstarter, which doesn't exist anymore because it's deleted. Superverse, Super Farm became Superverse and whatnot. Anyways, just wanted to show you because these were all these are all deleted. And Virtue Poker is right there. They raised money, closed. Whitelist from Mr. Beast. They get all the allocations and whatnot, and they get to dump it on their subscriber. That is massive. Here, clearly, the Worked dude was talking about super wise. and pumping all the way. That's what okay, they we're do. We're going to go back to all-time highs in Moon River. It's all there, okay? That's there. Now, coming to this, and I have to show you this for context. Very important. These are all the threads. So you can see Becker, Crypto LARP, Elio, right? You see this? These are threads. Now, going back to this... Soma XPD did a thread on Mr. Beast, and this is where pretty much it took off, right? Has about half a million views, which is massive. 
If you notice here, what do you see here? You see Lazar Beam, right? And a bunch of others, obviously, PW, Lash and whatnot. KSI is here, but Mr. Beast is here. And you see this Virtue Poker? And you see the Super Farm? That's 100,000. And look at this money amount here. That's gonna blow your mind. $8.9 million right there. But you see this Crypto LARP? Again, right here. See the correlation to some extent? I have, I have had thread on them for quite some time. You can see all the pump and dumps, and now they're still mooning. Look at all the, looks like Lark got out 22.5 million before. All these have been documented. You can see this on Cointelegraph itself. Cointelegraph just posted on Mr. Beast. They covered. I've done nothing wrong. Lark Davis denies pump and dump allegations. September 30th, 2022. <laughs> Crypto influencer Lark Davis has refuted new allegations from Twitter on chain sleuth. Long, long ago, quite some time back, right? And then when you connect the dots, you see this right here, right? The LARP, everyone is connected here. But Alex Becker is not mentioned here. Now, I'll just let you do the rest of the digging. Why I'm showing you this? Because look at this here, okay? Before I proceed, clearly mentioned, Superfarm by Superfarm so DAO, now Superverse. Block me, I get it. How did he do that? What did he give in return? Of course, there's a syndicate, underground syndicate. I'm, there's no doubt now. You see Mark Rober, everybody was in that casino, whatever, gambling and under... However, if you look here as well, here's the proof he invested only 100k in Superfarm DAO. In a screenshot from Elio Trade's live stream. You see this live stream leak chat? October 11th, 34,000 views. You know where this thing came from? So Soma XPD reached out to me for information. And I recorded a video giving him all or her individual all the leak chat and everything. This leak chat actually came from one of the victims of Super Farm. They were all refunded money. So now it makes sense. They were all refunded their whitelist, whatever, and it was given to alleged Mr. Beast, Lazar Beam, and them. Instead of giving the one who actually won, let's, because it, it went so high, let's not make them rich. Let's give it to my people, my friends. Let's make them a lot more richer. That's exactly what happened. Look, Osiris, this is my another crypto account, um, X account. I'm not going to go into the, the, into, into the entire chat, all right? I've done this in the past. You can check out my crypto channel, whatever. But the dates are important. You can see some of my stuff I mentioned, all right? It's a long chat. Yes, and a lot of influencers shilling SF2. SF means super farm. Influencers, wait a minute. I will try to find something interesting. May 12, 2021. Go back and check the dates because it's, it's very important. The whitelist winners, you can understand everything, right? And I'm doing this for those who actually um, are trying to do a lot more investigation on this because it actually started from this, all right? I'm the one who provided the leak chat, but it came from these victims. Look at this here. All the way down, okay? Look at this. This is the chat. Yes, this is the chat. And he kind of accidentally leaked it. This is the original stuff, all right? You see here? Lazar Beam, this is the chat. Mr. Beast, right here. Look at this here. So, we can do the 100K. Thing is that, it all started from there. And that's just Mr. Beast. Look at some of the other comments here. Sir, no problem. Lazar Beam is saying that. How much did he make out of this? Straight shot to 400 plus. Ooh, look at this here. Straight shot to 400 plus. What do you mean by that? You guys are pumping. You guys are all have insider. Like, look at this here. This is just an insider trading within X, and they might have in Telegram and Discord and whatnot. Check this out. Here, PW Lastan. What are you saying? Hey man, I got some super with your. I got your super with your, with your what? With your discount, with your something. Again, this guy with a whitelist. Again, he got this. One of the in insiders got benefits instead of the real winners. There were more than 70 people, real winners, okay? I don't want to, again, I shared the entire chat. It's not exactly private. Osiris is not responding. This has been several, what, three years ago? Look at this here. Did you see this? I spent hours for no reason trying to spread awareness and dig deeper, and yeah, people want to see what they want to see. <laughs> Way back. Because obviously I was telling them this is a scam, this is the biggest thing ever, and nobody believed it's like dislike 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 but now i'm not kidding not eight thousand plus more like that thing got the most views but a lot of comments were negative but then 
the positive comments started coming after some time because when you see it's happening, what can you do? And most of the other naysayers, my haters, they just disappeared. This video has been deleted after three minutes, but Elio realized what he do on live YouTube video. He opened his Twitter DM. Jacob is SF lawyer, super farm lawyer. And you know who was Jacob? Of course, Jacob is right there. Jacob Whitman. We didn't need it since I put together. We didn't need what? What did you put together? Some file document so you can bully the whitelist winners. That's what happened. Okay, I was trying to figure out what is 100k thing back then. I was like, so Mr. Beast got paid 100k to give a shout out to Super Farm or this or that. I was just assuming now when you see the connection, Zach, uh, you know, Soma XPD, he invested, he got 9 million. Now it makes sense, right? I could have done that then, but why? I've done so much already. Now I told you, I have all the threads. You can just go back and look at it. Okay, I spent hours. Okay, check this out. Do you remember of watching the interview he did with Paul? I don't want to go into this guy's thing, but just it's related to Mr. Beast, so I'm putting it out there. Great, I'll collect more. Don't worry. I've reached out to Coffeezilla, if you know who he is. May 12th, 2021, right here. Look at this here. That's me. I've reached out to Coffeezilla, if you know who he is. And he says, but Safs was designed in a way to not be signed. This is really huge. Watch this here. This is one of the other comments. I'm one of the pre-sale investors who got refunded. After many communication attempts, I was given some rubbish reason and told that regardless, our, our soft was not signed by them and invalid. Apparently, they did the same for recent whitelist. You see what they did? All these winners, they paid to get into IDEO. Hey, I'll be the, finally, I'll be the early birds to win in this because this guy's subscriber is going to pump. But these guys are retailers. They never got into you know any project uh, early, whatnot. So they got super excited. And then their 50,000 investment went to million Elio saw, like, dude, why would we give these guys, like, make them millionaires? Instead, refund them. They can't do nothing. We have lawyers and whatnot. Give it to Mr. Beast and other people. That's exactly what happened. Check the timeline. It's crazy. I'll take lead. Okay, look, look. I'll take lead. No big deal. I have nothing to do with super. I didn't have nothing. I was just wasting my time spreading awareness. Be like, please, guys, be careful. I want this to be out so everyone knows. And that was again, 2021, 22, 23, 24, almost 25. I literally said, I want this to be out so everyone knows. Thank you, God. Thank you. I hope everyone gets to know right now. Nope, that's on me. Okay. And then watch this. And then I'm going to end this. Oh, why am I saying so much of stuff here? I care. This one, this is important. Absolutely. And thank you for doing that. Really, thank you so much. I'm at work now, so cannot describe everything. But look at here. This was again, posted same thing. May 12th, 8, 19 p.m. See this here? So those of you investigating Mr. Beast, understand what happened, okay? To some extent. Look, Super Farm and this was the telegram. It said here, do not send more USDC than you were allocated for. We will be refunding the excess amount minus gas costs. So they changed their terms and stuff. What do you mean do not send more? You can literally refund. And you know what happened here? It says we will be refunding the excess amount. Fine. Guess what they did here? See this? They changed it. The whole the token price went up. What they did, they changed the terms now. They said more funds were sent than the limit tried to cheat the system. So even if it was sent by whatever mistake, but one cent went up or the price went up, whatever. Hey, you guys she tried to cheat the system. Refund. And not only that, this guy held their money for over weeks and then refunded. While he, the, the price of the token was going up. So miss, that's why Mr. Beast was able to the token price, the pre-IDO was one cent. At the peak, it was $4 something. Do you even understand that, the gain? From one cent to $4 something, that's like 4,000 plus. Nobody has ever seen this in history. Unless you have inside information, it's just boom, right? From one cent. So hence, if you gave $100, $100,000, you were able to make $9 million because the whole token went from here to here. But it was only able to go from here to here because you have all this collectively subscriber base, you pumped, like you shilled to, and they pumped it for you. So they're all your, who lost money? Them. The followers and subscribers lost money, mainly. Understand this. And all these whitelist winners, they were defrauded. Just so they could enrich them. This is wild. This is right here. I'm not making any of these up. Okay? This happened three years back. And since I was covering Superfarm, a bunch of these dudes tried to reach out to me because I was the only person then. Well, while everybody was shilling this, that, big, uh, 
Ben Armstrong, BitBoy, all these huge YouTubers were shilling. I only had a thousand subscribers, barely. So it was hard for people to take me really seriously because I wasn't pumping much. I was calling out people more of more often. So whatever, I, it's not me calling out. If they do stupid things and if I happen to see it, I'll call out, simple as that. I mean, don't do stupid things. Don't let me see it, simple. I tell God, please don't show me these things because then I'll have to talk about this. So that's why I try to keep my eyes shut as much as possible. I sleep as much as possible, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is what happened, man. This is wild, isn't it? They changed the rules after TGE. Did you get the last screenshot? So this is what happened. And watch this. And then I'm going to just go back to Mr. B's comments. I give your email to the lawyer and I think he will contact you shortly. I think the best way for interview. They wanted to interview. It didn't happen, actually. You're not alone. All group of the 70 people really supports you. The biggest problem for us is that we have been banned everywhere. Elio usually block us in a few days. Yeah, sure. He blocks everybody. That's the sad part of this X thing. And I heard they are going to remove the block. But whatever, man. It's just disgusting, right? Call them out. Yeah, block this guy. And they laugh at us. And others are just getting, you know, celebrating all these followers. And they get, the one who's getting robbed are celebrating. Elio usually block us. We have been banned from all Telegram chats. This is the email. Ask him if you want to join us live interview. Yeah, he never joined live. He would never do that. Anyways, that was a chat. Just wanted to make sure I can prove it that this whole thing actually came from that. That's the main source. Thank you, Osiris. Just because you took a stand, I did my part, and now this guy did it, and now hopefully the others are going to, you know, come and join. Everything starts from this. All right? I appreciate it. So, yeah, this is what it is. Can't believe that it's it's going, right? So, yeah, let's go back on Mr. Beast and let's see what's happening. Right, finally. Breaking. Mr. Beast investigated. Find the full investigation below. All right. A lot of articles now. Is anyone not a scammer? What kind of question is that? It's probably just another episode. Today we gathered 100 crypto experts in the same room and made them battle. <laughs> Lost all trust in him after seeing him promote Paul's beverage, Prime. What time to be alive? Imagine attacking someone who builds walls in Africa, cures the blind. Gary, Logan, and Mr. Beast literally have a video talking about how they do it. And I covered it as well. Sure. I want to see Zach or Quits take on this. Oh, Zach. It's been there for such a long time. I mean, really? Hey, want to see some fun story? What is this here? No, I don't want to see anything. Say the detective, what? So that's how he pays for it. Mr. Beast just leveled up his crypto game. I'm actually, yeah, my oh, the thing just died. It's coming back. Let's actually read some of this real quick and I'll be off. This is Mr. Beast. Why am I even checking on his profile? No. Mr. Beast investigation. Wow. Look at this here. October 29th. Look.io. Mr. Beast, one of the most popular YouTubers with over 20 million subscribers across the main and side channels, has recently faced public scrutiny over various controversies. Allegations have emerged, including claims of fake videos running illegal lotteries and employees with questionable track records. However, the investigations only skimmed the surface of Mr. Beast's crypto activities. Just surface. That's what we are supposed to do. Scratch a lot more so more people will come and join in and take over and expand the search. Right? A team of researchers has since conducted a team of researchers. This is wild. A more detailed analysis uncovering connections to over 50 cryptocurrency wallets linked to Mr. Beast. 50. Their findings suggest a long history of insider trading, misleading investors and using his influence to promote tokens only to later dump them on the market. This document delves into various tokens associated with these allegations and the insider trading claims, starting with identifying the wallets tried to, tied to Mr. Beast. This article will investigate Mr. Beast's activities over his 50 plus secret wallets, uncovering insider trading and questionable deals. This investigation was put together by quite a few people on chain analyst with the help of Angelface, Soma XBD. Where's my credit, man? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Mapping out the beast. On chain researchers have tried to map out Mr. Beast's hive of wallets. The first thing being Angelface Peanuts Trace. Angel's Trace. Arkham Intelligence. Look at this web. This is massive. I'll probably do another video just to break this down in techie form, basically. Make it more simplistic. This is 
crazy, Gemini, you can, Unisop, Gemini. I can't see it really, but I'm gonna magnify later on. These are all the Unisop, okay? He's taking money out. Now all these are wallets, okay, fair enough. 100 added several more wallets into the mix. Look at the amount of wallets here. They're just trying to dodge. This is like some, like, seems like some sort of money laundering attempt. Mr. B's primary wallet address, from which multiple side wallets often branch off, as noted in the street. Moreover, in several projects, Mr. Beast has been associated with such as Super Farm, Earn, Refinable, etc. has sent their allocations to this wallet. In a podcast clip, Mr. Beast discusses his acquisitions of CryptoPunks and VFinds. Yep, he leaked it himself. Exchange interactions, Gemini, and Binance. Totaling over, his Binance account alone has seen transfers totaling over $13 million. What, didn't even sponsor so-called Binance or something? Coinbase, Binance... He shield those. And these are more wallets. Multi-purple wallets. Though many of Mr. B's wallets connect with solid inflows sent from one another, a strong piece of evidence that connects them to Mr. B's is the shared deposit address. To elaborate further, when you want to deposit funds to an exchange, the exchange creates a deposit address that tends to be reused. When we look at Mr. B's network of wallets, most of them share the same deposit of address. This means that when Mr. B's wants to send funds to his Gemini exchange, he uses an address sent by Gemini. Genius, isn't it? Genius. And if, you, if you're if you interested, stay tuned. When um, I plan on putting all this wallet in your tracker, just for fun, and s attempt, actually, and see if the AI can actually give me some of the analysis right on spot. Like, connect all of them visually. You can see this. Right now, you can see all the webs and all this connected, not numbers. I want to see the numbers and all that, okay? Look at this massive Ponzi scam. Superverse. Yes, sir. Finally. Finally, <sighs> tears, man, tears. Didn't get even one dime paid just to do like spend so much time covering this super farm and whatnot since 2001, 21. While these guys were pumping and dumping and making so much behind the scene, and I was only getting hate from people like, yeah, you don't know anything. You suck. You suck. You pathetic. Superverse, formerly Super Farm. The first project we have in the list of project farms is super farm now called superverse superverse can you see this here the first project we have in the list of project farms project farms superverse was a cryptocurrency token that had many promises from making an nft marketplace to integrating with the game games to create a gaming economy promises to deliver games such as pizza heroes which none of this came out this is making me i don't know if i'm really seeing this or is this like is this real could you please pinch me, yo? Where are my cats, man? Pinch me. Ow. It is real. It is real. It is real. It is real, man. But it's just the news. Nothing happens to them. But at least I'm grateful. After three and a half years, almost four years. Hmm. <sighs> Superverse. Well, a cryptocurrency token was. To integrating with games to create gaming economy, promise to deliver games as pizza heroes and imposters. Two games that were stuck endlessly in development. Never came out. Superverse was heavily pushed by individuals such as Elio Trades, a YouTube crypto marketer with a shady history of pushing crypto tokens to his fans to later dump. Alex Becker also pushed Super, mentioning it in his videos. Big influencers such as Mr. Beast, KSI, Lazar Bean pushed the token to their fans. And on-chain activity shows profits of upwards of 10 million from Mr. Beast, KSI, and Lazar Bean. This is a huge syndicate. Super had a pre-sale ICO which was open to public investors, where each super token was sold for two cents. Are you sure this was two or one cent? I think that was a second level. Go back and check. It was on Polka Starter, polkastarter.com if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I believe it was one cent. And the second round probably was two cents. Anyways, what, two cents is massive. Like still, like look at the difference here. Two cents to four some dollars. And check this out. However, Upon launch, Super did a 50x increase and prices jumped to $1 each. Now, it's a lot more from $1. Hold on, hold on. Taken from Unapple's Drapple Super Farm videos? No! They gave me credit? No! <laughs> let, me, let me see. That's my crypto channel. Oh my god! Look at this. Super Farm. Three years ago, is the biggest fraud in the crypto industry. It was till the end. Three years ago. Almost four years back. 8.4. Elio Trace, Super Farm Imposter, leak chat exposing. 
yeah two years ago i'm the one who gave the leak chat but seriously dude i mean who would believe right look at this that was me right trying to show if you notice <laughs> right there see this what they were doing oh my god that was my setup right then it's the same setup anyway see this all these telegram chats and whatnot look at this massive price this is super farm look that time itself it was sitting at two dollars something and you're talking about just one dollar bro it went four dollars something i can go back and chart and show you anyway one dollar that's fine but dude this is massive look that was me two hour long video thank you senpai thank you thank you anyways anyways it's not about me here just want to check on this whole thing all right get ready get ready let's finish it off two cents did a 50x it did a lot more than that each early public investors who thought they had a 50x gain were suddenly refunded their investments through legal loopholes yes sir yes sir there you go Wilson's public pre-sale investors were refunded their money. Investors such as Mr. Beast and KSI reaped the rewards of the investment and dumped tokens on their followers. I just said that. And this is the first time I'm reading this. I just said that. If you remember, just showing you the leak chat and the DMs. A leak screenshot from Eliotrade's stream shows his Twitter communications showing Mr. Beast's in interest to put in 100k, which is likely to be towards the super pre-sale. Mr. Beast uses brand and influ influence to push super, tweeting about super farm, from his Twitter X account. Yep. Do you see this here? There's just one. Super question mark. And then the eyeballs. Where are the eyeballs? Here, there you go. See that? Superverse. Again, you see this? X super official CEO. Coincidence? X super official. Mr. Beast replies, super farm down on X and now deleted. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. KSI, uh, who's involved in Mr. Beast's network, was also involved in super marketing super. A later dumping on his followers. Yep. See that? KSI also is a part of this. I forgot about this, actually. I Wow, man. KSI did shield super and earn. And all these dudes did the same thing together. Mr. B's wallet receives an initial batch of 1 million super tokens in his main wallet. Hey, now finally, more Pegasus is going to come and do another video on KSI. And this time, he's going to talk about super farm. And KSI, hey, Pegasus, maybe just include... Unapologetic Rebels video as well, maybe. Yeah. Wait, all started. Okay. Look at this here. So these are all the connections. Detailed analysis. So my XBT. And then Wu-Tang Clan. During this time, dumped all of his super holdings. Shortly after receiving supply. Selling the supply incrementally. And all these people behind, like, who are pumping super farm. All these retailers, noobs. They were like, Devs is selling. Devs is selling. If you look at the, in, uh, the Telegram chat which is also leaked by grifters.online. Go check it out. Grifters Online X account. All Superfarm leaked Telegram ch um, chat where all the people are desperate. Where is Elio? Where is this guy? Why is he not here? Why is he not pumping? Where are you going to get develop? We give this. And some of them are complaining. Developers is dumping, blah, blah, blah. Look. Look what they were doing here, man. This is what Mr. Beast dumped. Look at the mount from this to all the way. For what? Just to give a shout out, this is how much you profit. Sends back to Mr. Beast's main wallet, worth of super. Between June and August, Mr. Beast's super related activity goes quiet, but accumulates several tokens, unlocks. See what happened? They just became quiet. They talk about super. You have this uh, Alex Becker silently comes out. When the price of everything goes down, their tokens are locked. Before it unlocks, they want to pump the price. See what they did? <sighs> Mr. Beast transfers 3.56 million super tokens worth 3.34 million to his wallet. Bobby Digital. Bobby Digital. Bobby Digital. Great name. Between 17th August to 9th of September. So while everyone was just pumping the bags, they were just waiting to unlock their tokens and just dump over the entire year. Like, wow. The best money making system out there. Look at this here. Look at the price and the so this dumped all came from these dudes now. Now you all know. You all were respect you're respecting this so-called dudes. You were looking up to these dudes when I was calling them out. And they were dumping on you. They were dumping on you. Do you have anything to say? Hey, listen, I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking to all those the naysayers in the beginning. Not the 70 uh pre uh, whitelist winners who actually lost and reached out to some extent. Some of them. Then transfers his remaining supply. 335 super 
back to main wallet. And these are all his transactions, Mr. Beast wallet, right? Look at the price. So it was him who was dumping millions of dollars, not just a developer. And there were a lot more people, obviously. It's not just him involved. Liquid extracted. 2 million, 2.8 million, 6.2 million, 1.2 million, 1.1 million, 82,000. All these just came from Super Farm? <sighs> no way. No way. No way. Not even 8 million, it's 11 million? Subtracting Mr. Beast's pre sale investment of 100k and the 224 buy in 2023, in total across all wallets. Well, all wallets. No, 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 no. This is just Super Farm. The estimated profit is roughly 11.4 million? Because then this guy goes on to the Ethernet and ER and other stuff. This was just Super Farm. He made 11.4 million from Super Farm. <laughs> Ethernity chain launched in 2021. Started as a platform dedicated. I'm not going to go deeper than this. Like, it's just it'll, Soul Starter. There was Polka Starter, there was Soul Starter. So what are, you know what a starter? Super starter. You see this? You see the connection now? Super starter. Elio saw opportunity. Everybody was having the starter. What are the starters? Launching projects on their platform. So they can shill it to their subscribers. So all the huge YouTubers in the crypto that time was so-called founder founding members of the starting thing, the IDOs. Hey, we can get, you know, get these people in pump our backs. We can be tell them that they're early, and you know what happens. Because that's the most lucrative thing. Why? Because the projects paid them to get listed. So this is these guys on top are always winning. Hey, pay me fifty thousand dollars listing fee. I will list your project donkey on Superstarter, and guess what? We will also use our subscriber base. We'll pump, let them pump it for us. You're making money, scumbags. And this is just ERN. And then what else do we have? On chain history. This is long, ladies and gents. Like, look at this. This is huge. Wow. Metaverse. Wow, sir. This is huge. I'm going to link this in the description. All right. Feel free to go check it out. I will break this down in my other video. It's 30 minutes long. I just wanted to talk super because that's that's the biggest thing ever. Let's see if there's anything bigger than super. Because look look here. ER in profiting, nine, 900,000. Okay? 900,000. After subtracting buys in the beginning, Mr. Beast across the wallets made a net profit of 4.6 million. So the highest amount he made was 11 something from Super Farm. The lowest he made was 4.6 from ERN. AOZ, let's see if it goes down. How much did he make from AOZ? On chain history shows Mr. Beast selling his position after launch and making 193 in profit. Another. Okay. Okay. So the highest one is Super Farm. If Mr. Beast was able to make 11 point some million, how much did Alex Becker and Elio Trace's founders, co-founders, whatever made? Ask yourself. The damage is massive. Nothing came out. All right? I mean, this guy should be totally, all of these, the syndicate should be investigated by the feds. It's deeper. And you know what Mr. Beast has going on anyways. It's, it's not just crypto. It's more than this. Anyways, dude, this is wild. And I'm aware of all these tokens. AOZ, Kyle Chassis, Paid Network. I keep saying Kyle Chassis. This guy was convicted way back. He's in Thailand, Bangkok right now, operating from there. They were all part of Syndicate, man. Kyle Chassis, founder of Paid Network. AOZ, launched on Paid Network, if I'm not wrong. I was right there. ShopX was the same thing. <laughs> these are all the same tokens. Look at the connection here. I'm just going to go at the end right now. And... Call it a day for now, okay? I'm doing this in Brown 2. I wasn't expecting this. This is massive. And I'm extremely grateful and also happy to be able to be a part of this and help out. All right? Because it all started from the big one. Believe it or not, if that didn't come out, none of these. Boson Protocol. This is wild. He made so much money. But the most he made... Look here. In total, Mr. Beast made 681 million. Um, thousand. That's just from one project. And there's so many projects. The massive amount was 11 million from one token. And I just want to see the finishing here. This is huge. This is huge. Meta gods. Remember? They were shilling the NFT and the metaverse and also the 
all garbage gaming tokens, which never came out. They're all, look at this here, Meta Gods. Investors, Mr. Beast is an investor. Pump investment. You gotta be very careful when some of the names are there together. Banter Capital, you know who this is? The, the banter, the first dude, again, in the, if you go back all the way, can I, do I have this? I don't think I have it. I don't want to show you right now. The guy who did hosted, but Ran Nooner. When you see all these dudes, investors on something, you got to stay away, man. These are the, the worst comebacks on earth. Look at this. Metaverse. Look at this. Look at the chart here. This is wild. I want to see the last network. Okay, let's end it here. I will do another. Break this up part and make it more polished one by one all right but this is wild you even notice familiar faces reappear throughout this document in different projects we have identified multiple people who seem to appear consistently throughout mr b's cryptocurrency on-chain history alex baker appeared a few times in our investigation from being a key advisor meta gods and whatnot which mr beast was invested in right moreover when earn token launched mr beast had sent alex baker a transaction of 14 8th March 2021. Again, I remember I told you the dates are important. At the time of the transaction, that position was worth 91,000. This was earned was valued at around six dollars right after launch. Within a few weeks, earn price soared, and the same position would be worth 900,000 a few weeks later. Can you imagine this? KSI. KSI's history of Mr. Beast is detailed throughout this document, so we won't go into detail again. In summary, they were involved in Super, XCAT, Fine, and Stack. Advice for Mr. Beast by us, by them. This is advice for Mr. Beast. Stop using MetaMask swaps. <laughs> they charge 0.87% fees. We recommend... Okay. MetaMask is a bit outdated. Most power users use Rabi. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> advice for Mr. Beast by us. So these are the researchers here. Hunter, Angelface, Peanut, Soma Expedi, Parson. Thanks, guys, for actually bringing this to the light. This is a huge investigation. October 29th, dated, latest. And uh, it all started, again, from one thing. That's why I keep saying. It all starts, again, the whole thing starts from one tiny fire. It, does, it starts from a spark. Tell the right stuff. Don't go attack people because of jealousy or ego or whatnot. If it's real, if it's true, bring it forward. Let the world see. Spread awareness. Anyways, ladies and gents, thanks for watching. This was totally raw. I'm going to leave it this way. I'm not going to edit it. Just want to show you exactly how all these dudes who claim to make millions and billions, now you know exactly how they're making. These guys don't have skills because if they did, oh, they do actually have skills. If you call that a skill, the con, con man skills, right? Abusing the power, the subscriber base and whatnot. And we are just glorifying them and literally following them a lot more. Elliot Trades, when I covered him, he was at 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. When I actually covered him, he's at 600,000 something. Becker was like about a million. Now he's at 1.44 million. Mr. Beast was at 100 million. Now he's sitting at 300 million. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you see. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace for now.